Most people listen to music all throughout their day, whether it's walking to class or driving in the car or doing homework. But what we might not realize is that music has an effect on our lives even when we're not actively paying attention to it. It's important to learn what our music is saying to us. You may have heard this famous quote that when words fail, music speaks. But what is our music saying to us? Could it be something fun and upbeat like this song? Don't stop or could it be something that tugs at your heartstrings a little more like this song? In the arms of the angel. Whatever our music is saying to us, it's important to realize that we need to know what it's saying to us because subconsciously our brain is doing something with that information. My name is Kara Scott, and today I will be talking about the power of music and how it can change your life. As college students, you might relate to this picture, sitting down to study for a test and nothing seems to be sticking in your brain. You might be thinking, this is so much information, I can't even begin to process it all. Or you might be overwhelmed with the amount of things that take up your time. We have school and work and relationships, so many other things that we're worried about every day. But what if I told you I had the cure to all of this craziness? You might be thinking, there's no way, there's no way that what she's going to tell me is going to fix most of my problems, but it is. Music has the power to change lives for the better. Today, I want to talk about how music will affect your brain, how it affects your education, and how music affects your happiness. When we listen to music, the right side of our brain is what hears the music and responds with pure emotion. Then, the left side of your brain then takes that emotion and tries to figure out why you're feeling that way. When both parts of your brain are active in listening to music, it helps strengthen your cognitive skills. That's why most of us learn songs to music, like the ABCs, and we still remember those songs today. I can honestly say that in my life, listening things to music, I remember all 50 states, and if I was lucky enough to be raised in Utah, I remember the exact year that the U.S. Continental Railroad met its promontory point. Our brains are capable of remembering so much information, and it's proven that music helps aid us in these tasks. When we listen to music while studying, it enhances what we are able to comprehend and retain. It is proven by Florida National University that if you listen to music while you're studying, you will do better. But before you start studying, you should lift your mood. Now, there's no right or wrong answer to what kind of music you can play to lift your mood. As long as it helps you feel more comfortable and relaxed, it's a great option. But once you are in a good state of mind, you, there are a couple of different ways that you can choose music that will help you retain the most information. The first would be classical songs. It is great for your brain to have something to listen to and not be distracted by lyrics or other distracting things. If you were to listen to a piano solo or a cello solo, it helps keep your brain engaged in what you're learning and helps you remember more information. The next thing would be nature or ambient tracks. If you're someone that loves to be outside in nature, this would be a great option for you. Because if you can get your body comfortable and you can get yourself in a good state of mind, you'll be more relaxed and you'll be more susceptible to the information that you're learning. And finally, music that has 60 to 70 beats per minute has been proven to help you stay engaged in what you're learning and remember. An example of a song that might do this is Beethoven's For Release. It might not sound like the most interesting li to listen to while you're studying, but I promise that your next A on your test will be worth it. And finally, music improves our moods. It's no surprise that listening to certain kinds of music make us happy and that we enjoy certain genres of music. It's been proven by health professionals everywhere that when you are in a better mood mentally, you make better life decisions and you have better relationships. Music helps connect us with our emotions. It helps us feel understood when those around us might not totally understand. Music is a way to channel our stress and happiness, whether you're sad and need to cope with a loss or need to get pumped up for your next big game or exam, there's a song for everything. I want you to picture yourselves studying in a room. You've got the music playing in the background, you're engaged, you're focused, things seem to be going your way. If you open your eyes and look at the picture, you might feel a little bit something like this. Music has the power 
to make you feel like this in everyday situations, whether you're studying for a test or stressed out for the next big thing that's happening in your life. Today, we've talked about how music affects your brain, how music affects your education, and how music affects your happiness for the better. Beethoven believed that music could change the world, but changing the world starts with changing yourself. In the words of Michael Jackson, you have to start with the man in the mirror. So the next time that you're listening to music, no matter what you're doing, pay close attention to what it's telling you, because it might just change your life. Thank you.